So I just installed iOS 4 on my iPhone 3GS and I want to go ahead and uh, run you through the most requested feature of the uh, new operating system which is multitasking. Um, first I'm going to go ahead and show you the multitasking dock. You've got your normal, your regular dock here and if you double tap on the home screen it brings up the multitasking dock. I don't have any applications running right now so there's nothing in the dock. So I'm going to go ahead and start off uh, showing you the um, uh, really cool features and benefits of multitasking. I'm going to start off with uh, Pandora Radio, one of my favorite apps, and um, show you. Uh, turn up the volume here. So, normally, when you're running um, Pandora Radio and you want to go back to the home page, it shuts Pandora Radio off. So, go back to the home page and the song is still running. So that's, uh, that's Pandora now running in the background and you can continue to listen to uh, Pandora Radio um, while you're running other applications. So let me turn the volume down real quick a little bit. Um, let me go ahead and launch Safari. And normally um, in Safari, uh, prior to iOS 4 and multitasking, when you opened up a web page, uh, after the page loaded, if you exited out of Safari and went back into Safari, you'd have to reload that page. Well, you don't have to do that anymore. So I'll show you once the page is loading. There we go. So if I go to the the multitasking uh, dock and go back to Pandora Radio and go back to Safari, um, the page is still loaded. So that's a uh, that's a huge benefit of um, uh, multitasking is the pages are still stored in memory on your uh, on Safari and you don't have to reload those pages every time you want to uh, open up Safari. Um, now you can access the the applications that are running in the background either from your home screen um, or from the dock. So for example, if I go right to Safari, um, it's still running. If I scroll to Pandora, oops, let me go back there, Pandora, it's still running. So I can either do that from my home screen or I can access them from the dock. So um, one thing to consider uh, when you've done the iPhone OS 4 upgrade is that not all the applications that you have will uh, be able to run in the background because they haven't been upgraded uh, to support uh, background processes. And a, and a good example of that is um, uh, the Weather Channel. Uh, I downloaded the new version today. It hasn't been upgraded yet, but I'm sure they will. So it's loaded up now. If I want to switch, I'll go to uh, Safari. Now I'll go back to the Weather Channel. And it has to reload because it hasn't been written to support um, background uh, processes and multitasking. And I'm sure uh, it will be over the next couple of weeks. And you'll find that with a lot of the applications that you have that uh, they don't support background uh, multitasking yet, but over the next couple of weeks you'll see those applications get upgraded and updated to support multitasking and background processes. So another uh, cool feature about multitasking that will make you more productive is, um, well let's first turn on the volume on Pandora Radio there a little bit, is um, let's let's say you um, want to create a mail message, so you compose a mail message, and let's go back to Safari, and I'm going to grab this text here, copy it, go back to my doc, go back to the mail message, and paste it, and it's that fast. You don't have to exit out of Safari anymore, and then open the mail application back, and then paste it back in there. It's you can just cycle between the applications and copy and paste uh, text and images back and forth between the applications. So that's a huge advantage that multitasking provides. So I'm sure one of the questions is, uh, how do I kill these applications that are running in my, my taskbar down here? I've got a couple applications, but how do I kill them so they don't eat up my battery life? And all you have to do is just simply hold down the icon and a little negative sign will come up and you just tap the negative sign and it's gone. We'll kill Safari, we'll kill Mail, we'll kill Remote, but we'll leave Pandora Radio up and running. So then you just press the Home button and there you go. Now one thing to consider is that the more applications you have running in the background, uh, the quicker your battery will drain. Now, now Apple has optimized uh, background processes to uh, be as efficient as possible, but reality is the more applications you have running in the background, 
the quicker your battery will drain. So you want to uh, be aware that every time you run an application, if you don't kill it, it's going to be running in the background. And um, so that's something you're going to have to consider um, and get used to because you could eventually have 20 applications running and your battery will drain really quickly. So you're going to have to be vigilant and keep aware of all the applications that are running in the background and kill those applications so you don't drain your battery. Um, uh, another thing that I really liked about the new iOS 4 is it doesn't take up any more memory. I had 5.4 gig of free memory available on my iPhone before I did the uh, upgrade and I still have 5.4 gig of free memory so it doesn't look like the new uh, operating system iOS 4 takes up any more memory so that's that's a, a great bonus. Another cool feature of iOS 4 is um, you can now view all your mail in one inbox instead of having to go to each separate mail account you can now view all your mail in one inbox so that's kinda neat. Now I'll, I'll talk more about that uh, later on in, an, in another review of iOS 4. So again iOS 4 brings multitasking to the iPhone it's now running on, on my 3GS it'll be available on the iPhone 4 uh, I did place an order for the iPhone 4 it'll be here next week I'll be doing a complete review of the iPhone 4 running I, the iOS 4 um, so I guess my question to you guys is, what do you think of the new uh, uh, iPhone iOS, iOS 4? Do you like it? Uh, is it something that should have been around a lot longer? Do you have any questions about it? If you've got any questions, you can leave a comment or send me an email to myapplezone at gmail.com. That's myapplezone at gmail.com. I respond to uh, all emails and all comments. Um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps me out. and. And if you're not already a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe. And again, this has been my review of iOS 4. Uh, and uh, I really appreciate you guys stopping by, and I will talk to you later. Bye.